Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, and today we are in Cosmic Leech to do another review for the youngest of the three sisters and also the winning team of the faction war faction leech last time, which is Matoy. Yeah, she is the youngest of the three sisters and According to the trailer, she is pretty sadistic. Uh, yeah. But anyway, uh, before we we continue to the review, I have a new setup for my microphone. So uh, I hope the sound quality is good enough. And yeah, hopefully it will be fine because basically I'm just putting a mask on my face so to prevent the my breath interfering with the microphone so hopefully less static noise and all so yeah anyway I already changed her color here so it's not really her actual color scheme she's actually based on the Axion, which is co colored in blue, and you'll see why when we get to the ship sections. So, yeah, from my experience, she is a pretty aggressive type of void. I mean, you know, attacking here and there in a fast succession in a rapid succession so yeah I kind of like her because I got her from the girls gap up run when I was back on level on a lower level before I came back to this game so yeah now let's go to my ship check on her description first Mata is an assault class, which is pretty much what I what the class that I like so so much. So yeah, so her description says the youngest of the three sisters. Her rambling, bleh, her rambling shows personality borders on a penchant for violence. A defensive fighter. She tends to deliberately aggravate others in order to deliver brutally efficient counterattacks. Uh, so that's how you should play it according to the description. But I personally use her as of an offensive type or a flanker. So yeah. Here, here's a detailed look on her. So let's go to check some of her stats here currently I'm on the air grade of uh, god I can't speak right now so currently I'm I'm still on a grade for her and uh, this is her original form I forgot to tell you that all the three sisters actually have two type of forms right now uh, Matoi has the Vanguard form which is which has um, a switch axe basically if you have played Monster Hunter and here we are we have the original form here currently I'm on level 24 but as I said before I already played a little bit too much before I got Hana. So yeah. So her armoring on her current state is 347. Her stun resist is 66, which is pretty standard. Her main weapon is 58.7%. And her sub weapon is 65.8% which has an 
additional of 2% I believe here. I believe it's because one of my spear is, yeah, that I use that one for now. Her running speed is 8.84, flight speed is 8.42, 8 jump speed is 5.36, and her ascent speed, as always, is 0 0.3. Her current boost cap is 10, but if you manage to upgrade it to the S grade, you can have 13 on that one. Her boost regen currently is 1.7, her dash cost is 3.72, her flag cost is 4.07, and her jump cost is 4.25. In terms of defense, uh, just like Hana, she is weak to the physical attack, which has minus 5% here. And her. Uh, <coughs> my god. And she is strong against beam attack, which has 12% def on defense here. Now let's talk about. Oh yeah, I forgot to put this one. Her equipment. First up, we have the core, which is third gear. Switch between standard and high speed combat modes. May be used during melee attacks. Standard mode feels gauge by taking damage while high speed. Oh, well. <laughs> standard mode feels gauge by taking damage while high speed mode accumulates energy by performing dash actions. The high speed mode will override any custom dash triggers. Uh, dash cartridge. My God, what have what happened to me today? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> it ha it can deal a small amount of damage. Well, not really small, according to this. On C rank, it deals sixteen point three to twenty point eight, and on um, S grade. Uh, sorry, on S grade you can deal 16.8 to 27.1. My god, my, my must is kinda annoying right now. Okay, it has a region of 10,000 and a capacity of 2, but it's fine because it's really fast to charge again because it's her main feature and the next one is her X weapon which is action beat or axial beat I don't know how to pronounce it properly it acts as main weapon and a sub weapon so you have these two things that fly around her her these two this one is the main weapon and this one is her sub weapon. Uh, and I still don't like the camera camera control for reviewing here. So the main weapon is basically her gun. On C grade, it deals 11.5 to 14.7. Has a range of 28.0. Uh, the rate of fire is 40 and a capacity of 40 with a region of 2400 and if you manage to upgrade uh, upgrade Matoi to S grade you can deal 12.0 damage to 19.3 damage which is kind of weird because the lower damage is actually got nerfed from there well maybe it's just my upgrade i don't know now her sub weapon it can deal 11.5 to 14.7 and it has 80 range 30 on speed and doesn't have any capacity because it's a melee weapon type doesn't have any regen as well and if you manage to upgrade her to S grade, 
you can deal 12.0 to 19.3 well actually it deals the same damage as her main weapon but it has a different properties now onto her main feature which is her sword the Tachion Blade Matoi's mod determines her combat style when her gauge fills up press the mouse wheel button to launch a ranged attack that differs by the mod she is in gauge fills by dealing damage so I'll explain that later so on C grade you can deal 16.3 to 20.8 has a range of 8.6 speed of 10 which is really really fast for a melee type a melee weapon type and obviously it doesn't have any region because it's a melee weapon and if you manage to upgrade her to the S grade as usual it deals 16.8 to 27.1 but that's just a raw calculation because I have the spear so I can deal a little bit more damage or on low on low damaging attack which is 70 compared to the S grade with which deals 16.8 but for some reason it's kind of nerfing it now uh, let's me see here yeah it's weird oh yeah I forgot I have the axe assault here that's why Yeah, so there's that. Now let's go to the practice field. Let's go to Zeva Saber here, as usual. I'm sure, just like. Go to the practice field. Well, I just saw someone chatting about a light there being ugly, but I'm not sure about that. Yeah. So, let me adjust my mask here. Now, uh, this is her intro animation here. Her winning animation, which is pretty much the same. Well, not really the same. And her losing pose here. Now, let's talk about her main weapon first because her shift action is kind of difficult to explain for me, at least. Her main weapon has a range of 30, I believe. Oh no no, it's about 27.7 to be more accurate, yeah, and it deals that damage most of the time. The battle fire is quite decent, so there's that, a uh, pretty simple one. Let's talk about her trust sword which is the sub weapon of the gu the gun here. It has a range of 20 I believe. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's ex it says exactly 20. But it missed because that thing is so small. See what I mean? Yeah, it can hit a small target like that unless it's moving. Let's toss it to King Megaton here. Yep, there's that. I don't know why, but the touching blade so shows some number here for some reason. Uh, funny, I didn't remember that. 
So yeah, it's a one time use and if you continue to press the right mouse button, you'll proceed to use her mail her sword here. Yeah, she is basically using action weaponry. As I said before, if you have action, yeah, there's that. Well, it's actually still hits around 21, but it's not very effective, I believe. 22. Uh, 23. Wow. It's around 23.7. Um, what? It's weird. So now proceeding to her main feature, which is her sword and her shift action at the same time. So her sword has a range of, well, it climbs on 9.4 here for the effective range. But I believe you can go a little bit further, just like the last time. Well, not on 11. It's around 10.5. Nope. It's not even 10. So... 9.8? Yeah, it hits there. 9.9. Yep, around 9.9, .9, but it doesn't seem to deal any damage there, for some reason. Weird. But you can see there, it hits actually. See? But it doesn't deal any damage. Around 9.5, it still hits, but it doesn't deal any damage. So, it's not effective, guys to do on the edge of her effective range. Mm, yeah, we're probably probably it has some defense mechanism for a Panzer. I'm not fairly sure about that, but yeah. <coughs> Sorry guys. Now let's proceed to the move set here. It has three slash one, two, three. And it's really fast. If you continue to hold down the right mouse button, you'll end up throwing the trust sword. So one, two, three. Stop and one, two, three again. Stop. One, two, three. Yeah. It has a fast attack there, which is pretty scary if you end up got ganked by multiple lights on the battle now here comes the interesting part here because her shot actually has a special attack there as you can see near the health bar there the armor you have a skill some sort of skill bar there uh, whoops Some sort of skill bar, and you can do left mouse button to unleash it. But you have to do the melee attack, and it doesn't include the thrust sword. Yeah, the thrust sword can do that. Let's skill it first for now. Uh, let's see here. So, her right mouse button. Her special melee attack can deal a pretty devastating damage there and has a huge knockback. So let's show it to you guys. It's 52 damage. Could be higher or lower depending on the roll there. 
But yeah, you charge it by doing the melee attack most of the time or getting hit. But you can also do the charging while on the shift action uh, when I explain it later. So let's see here. Um, yeah, you can do any time you want. I already show you when I do it on the first hit, on the first attack. You can do it on the second attack as well. And it has a pretty large AoE damage. Well, not really AoE, but yeah. And you can do it on the third slash. One, two, three. Which makes... A pretty flexible attack there. So onto her shift action, which will change her. But first, let's do it just like so. Now you are in the mobility mode. It's pretty fast, has an increased speed on the movement, even on the ground. So let's compare it to the normal one. Yeah, it's not really fast, I believe. But you... Yeah. See? It's really fast on the air. And also on the ground. But if you happen to have some cartridge that involves something like this, the, the assault step or the whatever it was, I forgot the name. You'll have to lose that and change it with a new one. A new, some sort of assault step as well, but it's different. Now, as you can see on down below there, if, whenever I try to do the boost, it will recharge her special attack. So it's best to use while trying to escape or you have nothing to do but before reaching the main point just do the dashing like this and yeah also her combat action is kind of changed well not on the main weapon but on the sub weapon nothing really changed on the thrust sword but when you try to use her touching blade she'll do a trusting weapon trusting attack and I believe it has an, uh, an extra range. Yep, it has a significant range addition there. But the twist is you only have one attack there. So if I throw the thrust sword and I hold the back mouse button, she only do that. So yeah, keep that in mind. Also, you can also activate her melee special attack in this mode, but it changed the move. So if I try to do this and left click, it has a new move set there, and I really don't use it, so I just actually kind of surprised how scary it is because it acts like a lance. For a moment, kind of like Hana's bunk, it's a pile bunker. So it's really scary, guys. <laughs> so let's try that one more time. And it fails there. That's. And it's almost died there. So we have to try it on the new one here. Let's see here. And it explodes in the end. Wow. That's actually pretty amazing. Well, you can use her shift action during her melee sequence. sequence. Uh, I can't speak. Damn it. 
So for example, I use her mild attack here and press the shift action immediately. And you can continue to her standard attack because I believe she did a somersault kick there. Not sure, but let's try this on her combat mode. One, two, three, shift. It's explode. Well, I'm not really sure, but her shift actions kind of explode there. And it, the the truck gear is reloading pretty fast there. So let's try it once again. This is really nice for moving around the map. So I'll keep that in mind. So let's see here. Yes, there is an additional attack there, which is pretty nice. Well, I really don't use her shift action that often, but using her basic form here, it's really good already. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much all of her feature. I think, well, I'm not sure about the numbering on the Tachyon Blade there, because I think it's bulk, but, but yeah, let's try to reset her for now. Yeah, I'm not sure, but her melee doesn't have any numbers, I suppose, but that's happened. So, we find ourselves in the conclusion here. Yeah, so first thing I have to say, she is pretty versatile for an assault class. Unlike Hana, she can continuously attack with her melee weapon, even though I don't recommend it, but she is basically a flanker. And a pretty good one at that. Also, uh, yeah, she is the younger sister, and she is a sadistic. Well, overall, she is a pretty good one. Well, not just pretty good, but actually really good. So, the, some strategies I can find right now is. To use her melee attack first before using the thrust sword. So you should set it up like this. One, two, three, and throw. That's that's really good because since her touching bed also give a small knockback and you might want those extra range, you can use her thrust sword on the end of the attack. But you can also use the thrust sword to stop the enemy from moving, I believe. Yep. Stopping the enemy from moving and proceed to use her melee attack. And then... You don't really need to shoot every time you... You are finished with the melee attack because it's pr pretty fast. See what I mean? Yes. And if you are out of range with all the three attack, you can use her special attack, like so. One, two, three. And it will knock your enemy back a little bit. Or depending on the situation, it sometimes throw the enemy across the map. Because I don't know how this game works sometimes. But yeah. Her shift action which is her mobility mode. If you can use it on the beginning of the match to get some advantage on to before so you can activate her special attack here. And just keep doing that until the boost is almost down. But yeah. 
just do it on the beginning and or if you want to go to some place uh, faster you can use it as well and use power shift action to change to combat mode like so besides it has a very short charge on her top gear so it will be a nice one to use from time to time so you can do that she action again just like that well uh, what was that well anyway i think that's pretty much it uh, As usual, if you like my videos and find this one useful, well, find my videos useful for you guys, hit the like button. And if you find find out that this is just not really useful or you just don't like it for some reason, you can press the dislike button. And if you want to see more of this, uh, I mean more of my content here, you can press the subscribe button so you can see my videos every weekend. So I guess that's it for today. I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you on my next video. Later guys.